It was pitched as a less expensive alternative for women looking to give birth outside of hospitals, a place where soon-to-be moms would be connected with a midwife. A really reaffirming sort of experience, and I think that's what we want for people who are giving birth, right? We want, we want it to be the best experience as possible. Odeman, previously known as the birth center, opened in 2011 with a goal of handling 500 births annually. However, more than a decade later, the center is not delivering on expectations, and staff say they've hit a tipping point. The way the resources are right now, I would say no. We can't safely actually support more than I would say. I think we've reached up to almost 300 at one point. That would be the max of what we could do right now. According to the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority, in its first full year of operation, 120 babies were born at Odeman. That number has slowly increased each year, peaking in 2019 and 2020 when 237 babies were born less than 50% of the goal. Executive Director Kemlin Nemard says that target is simply not attainable with current staffing and funding levels. We would need a lot more supports to be able to do that. And so, um, you know, in a lot of ways, we need more midwives trained in the province, more funding for midwives, um, and more supports for the birth center assistants. Hi. The WRHA says more than a quarter of women who requested a midwife last year were unable to get one. And the College of Midwives noted that only three students are expected to graduate from the province's program this spring. It comes after a controversial 2016 shutdown of the program. The impacts of the previous government cutting that program, attacking midwives, uh, forcing them away from their chosen career paths that they were passionate about. We're feeling those impacts right now in Manitoba. The health minister says they've been in contact with the Women's Health Clinic that runs the facility to understand what's needed. We are going to work with them, listen to them, not only to create job opportunities for midwives, but to make sure that families and women across the province have access to the mid midwives that they need. Hi. And the choice to birth how and where they want. Brittany Greenslade, CBC News, Winnipeg.